friends. Today we're going to do a collaboration of some videos called It Smells Like a Church Supper. How many of y'all like going to church suppers? Or we call them potlucks here in the south in Texas. But um, I have a friend, her name is, um, her channel name is Super at 60. Think of the word soup, like you're going to eat some soup. Super at 60. She's a precious lady, and she is going to be making the main dish. I'm going to be making a dessert today, a very simple dessert, and I will show you my ingredients. Okay, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a box of brownies, any brand, high dollar, low dollar, whatever. Some Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm doing the king size, two of them, and then a can of sweetened condensed milk. And then, of course, you'll need your ingredients that you'll um, to follow the instructions on your brownies. Let's get started. We all know that when we're going to be doing a church supper that we usually make several things. We usually don't just make a dessert, or I don't. You usually are making two or three things, and so you want them to be tasty, but you don't, but you want them to be pretty simple. Okay, so this is a very, very simple dessert. People love it. If they like Reese's peanut butter cups, and who doesn't? Then they will love these brownies. So we are going to just follow the directions on the back of this brownie box. Mix them up. And uh, you always want to use room temperature eggs when you're baking. That really makes a difference. And uh, we're going to mix it up, and then we are going to layer the um the condensed milk and the in the Reese's and you're gonna see how wonderful it is. Whoops. Got our oil and we got our water and now we're gonna mix it up. Okay so we've got this mixed up now. And now we're going to start layering it. I've got my prepared um, dish here using Baker's Joy for my spray. I've got my oven preheating and I'm going to use my little toaster oven. It's actually a big toaster oven. Here in Texas it's so hot and it is just uh, just really hate to use the the big oven in the summer. Okay, I'm going to put about a third of these of this brownie in the bottom. Make sure y'all can see. I like to have more on top than on bottom. And we're gonna sp spread that evenly. Just like that. And then we're going to start putting our um, Reese's down. This is probably one of my favorite candies. And we have a recipe of how to make these homemade, and I need to show y'all that because it really does taste like them. And we're just going to layer, layer those all through here. Now there's not going to be uh, two packages is is not quite enough, so you can uh, you really don't have to put them that close together because they melt. I'll get them all in there and then we'll reposition. So I didn't really want to get I really don't like doing more than two packages because it's so rich. this one to there so it's almost going to be like every other space can you see that if I tilt it too much it's going to um, move on me but it's like every other space okay and then we are going to pour our condensed milk 
all over that. When you're going to a church supper, you do not worry about calories. Do you? You just worry about if it's going to taste good. You can't go wrong with condensed milk. You put condensed milk in anything, it's great. Okay. Now when you are going to cook this in a regular oven, you'll want to go by the back of your box. Um, when I'm using my small little oven like that, I just go on 350. You can't go wrong on 350. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of drizzle this all over the top until your bowl is empty. This is so good with a cup of coffee or even my husband likes milk, his. Okay, we've pretty much got all that. There's so many things you can do with brownies. You can put, uh, don't, I don't like just making re regular brownies with nothing else. Put a layer of coconut, put a layer of pecans, put a layer of whatever, chocolate chips. It just really spruces up a plain box of brownies. Okay, so can y'all see that without me tilting it too much? It's just pretty, it's going to be real pretty and marbled when it gets done. Okay, we're going to slide this in our little oven. All right, they are done. So we are going to get them out and let them cool for a little while before we try taste test. See that? <laughs> it's got the condensed milk and the brownie. Oh, it's so good. I want to show you, let me get this to the side. I got a corner piece and then I got a middle piece because you know, some people like the corner piece, but I wanted to make sure you got to see all of that inside and the texture. I did the, the uh, cake lock brownie. So it uh, isn't as gooey because I knew this other stuff would make it good, but let's try a bite. Mmm. I got a piece of cat the candy in that one. The peanut butter, oh, and the chocolate. And of course that condensed milk. Look at that. Talk about dressing up a brownie. No plain brownie here. <laughs> we'll get one more bite. Mmm. But it's still warm wonderful well I hope you enjoyed our church supper make sure you check out that main dish I know it was delicious we'll see y'all next time bye bye and of course it's even better with a little whipped cream oh <laughs> check that out